any further questions? Chairman, question from Mrs. Robin Ann Pender. Santos has represented to its shareholders and regulators in order to justify the Narrabri gas project that the 850 well project represents a viable low carbon transitional fuel source for New South Wales. Santos's claims about the 50% of coal emissions intensity of Narrabri gas would require that produced gas contains no CO2, even though the EIS assumes that the gas is composed of 10% CO2, which would make the project a high emissions fuel. A report released this week using publicly available well results shows that the average CO2 across the Narrabri project is actually 25 to 30%, with gas in some wells over 90% CO2. Is the Santos board aware of this data, the high CO2 content at Narrabri and its implications? Well, yes, we are aware of that, clearly. Um, the assumption of 10% CO2 uh, in, is, in the EIS is actually a conservative estimate. Um, typically, when you put an EIS together, you try and kind of paint uh, a fairly uh, a bad case to make sure you really kind of stress test it. The actual narrow by exploration and appraisal data from 250 gas samples that were taken across the area between 2014 and 2019 have an average CO2 content between them of just under 5%, not 10, 5%. Um, the areas where we'd expect elevated levels of CO2, they're typically in the shallower coal seams where we're not really interested, quite honestly. These are near the surface and they're typically something that a coal mine might look at. So basically, we intend to develop the Narrabi project to maximise the value of the asset, but minimising carbon emissions. Uh, noting that the EIS is allowed for CO2 to be removed to ensure that we meet pipeline specifications as well. Thank you for your question. 